for the Miyasa class, so just take it at your own pace as we are moving through. Uh, just allow yourself to move with your own breath. So you don't have to move necessarily at my speed at everybody else's speed. Um, eventually we we'll all catch up and we we'll all end up in the same place anyways. So move at your own speed. Um, take modifications as you need. Um, I'll offer modifications throughout classes. And let's begin in the chat, I suppose, when you're ready. Your big toes are together, your knees apart. And just set your hands forward. Keep your seat on your heels. So take a few breaths here in child's pose to just allow us to get grounded. Let our mind settle. And allow ourselves to become more present to just whatever is happening, whatever we're working with this morning. Noticing as you inhale how deep the breath is, where the breath travels into your body, how it feels when the breath expands. Maybe you crawl your fingertips up and past the edge of the mat a little bit more here. And exhale. So start to bring your uh, start to bring your ujjayi breath into the practice. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And gently drawing the pit of your belly up towards the spine. And so now allowing that awareness to the breath to draw out any distractions internal or external. And give yourself a moment here in this uh, quiet, still, present space. Set an intention for your practice. Remind yourself why you chose to be on your mat this morning. Maybe why you choose to continue to be on your mat. Or maybe you'd like to dedicate this practice to somebody. Take another deep breath in. And then through the mouth. And yeah, back to breathing in and out through the nose. And then walk your hands towards the left side of your mat. Bring your right palm on top of your left hand. Keep your right elbow off the floor and just take a couple breaths into your right side body here. Full inhale, exhale. And then same thing on the other side, walking your hands over to the right and the left palm goes on top of your right hand. Take a nice deep inhale into this left side, breathe in, breathe out. Nice inhale. Full exhale. Good. Bring your hands to center and let's make our way up into your cat house here. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. We're taking a few moments here. Before cat cows, you can just gently lean yourself side to side so you start to kind of create a little bit more opening through the wrists, or through the palms, a little bit more grounded. And from here, you can move into kind of half circles or maybe full circles and starting to get into your joints, shoulders, wrists, hips, knees, everything. And then when you're ready, you now move into your cat cow. So your shoulders stack, your hips stack, tuck your toes, sink your belly, inhale, arch up. And exhale, untuck your toes, rounding into your back. Now move a few rounds of this on your own, inhaling and exhaling, really exaggerating. Inhale, really exaggerating the exhale and how it feels in your body. I'm going to just make sure my phone is off. I think I forgot to turn it off. Perfect. And so again, inhale. Exhale, stretching into your toes and stretching through the tops of your feet as you round. Okay. 
And then after your next breath out, we'll go ahead and bring our spine to neutral and we'll make our way into our downward facing dog. Lifting your hands up and back. Let's just shift your hips side to side here, starting to get into the sides of your body, into your hamstrings. Shake your head yes, no. And then we're starting to move into our first vinyasa. So come up high to the balls of your feet. Let's just roll through the spine here as you look back to your belly, all the way forward, creating a little more space through the shoulder blades. And exhale, maybe the first one, you bring your knees down to the floor. So as you start to warm up your body, warming up your shoulders, inhale, opening the heart. Nice deep breath in and push the floor away from your belly and downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. Full exhale. We'll look forward to your hands. From here, we're going to walk or hop if you're ready to hop your feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift of your inhale, your knees slightly bend, high the lengthens, and exhale, you fold all the way forward. Let's rise all the way up, a little bend in your knees so that you're protecting your low back. Inhale, reach all the way up, a little back bend here, opening the heart. Now focus on lifting your heart up and wide rather than leaning to your low back here. So finding more length and exhale, hands by your side. Good. Let's start with some sun salutations. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold forward. On your inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the heart. And exhale, we step or hop back. Now notice which leg you step with back first. You want to alternate them as you continue to move through these lower down. Maybe you use your knees. Maybe you move into your full chaturanga in the up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. As we continue to move through the practice, you can move through your vinyasas, you can skip them, you can modify them however you like. We're just going to take two more breaths here, softening your knees to lengthen the spine, look towards your belly, and with your hands, push the floor away from you, driving the weight of your body back into your legs. Finish your exhale, look to your hands, walk or hop your feet to the top of your mat. On your inhale, halfway lift, and on your exhale, look fold forward and breathe out. Inhale, and remember, slight bend in your knees, really active legs to protect your back. Rise up and back, and hands by your sides. Let's go again like that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, soft knees once again to protect your back and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthening your spine. Walking or hopping, again, as you're walking, remember which leg you step with back. You're trying to be mindful and you're trying to alternate your legs. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice, guys. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Two more breaths. You're trying to breathe through the nose, your ujjayi breath. So the belly is in and the breath is into the rib cage, into your diaphragm. In and out. Finish your next exhale. Keep your butt up. On the bottom of that exhale, look forward, walk or hop your feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathing in, and fold forward, breathing out. Let's rise all the way to stand. Full inhale, and bring your hands by your sides. Exhale. We're going to move through the last one of our sun eggs. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale, mindfully stepping or hopping your feet back. Check it out for the best and try to lean into your hands so you're working into the strength of your core and your arms as you are floating forward and back. Inhale and exhale. Again, breathing through the nose, eyes towards your belly. Maybe your knees soften a little bit to really allow for a straight back for two and for one. Look to your hands, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathing in, fold forward, breathe out. So let's rise all the way to stand, inhale, and exhale, hands by your sides. Now that we're a little more warmed up, start to remove with our sun knees, feet together, big toes touch. Bend your knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Try to keep your chin above your biceps here, so you're not reaching from your shoulders, but from the heart. 
Exhale, fold forward and breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift. Again, as you walk or hop back, lean into your hands. Check that I'm getting the best one. Inhale and exhale. Let's reach your right leg up into the sky. Take a deep breath in here. Move your ankle, bend your knee, open up your hip. Reach the knee high up to the sky. And then straighten your leg, square your hips, pull the knee to your nose, exhale. Let's do that twice more, inhale, reach your back. Knee to your nose, exhale. Activating, awakening the core, last time, inhale, reach your back. Knee to your nose. Keep your shoulders over your wrists, step your foot forward. We're coming up into a lunge, back heel is up off the floor. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Square your hips, sink deeper. Right hand grabs your left wrist here. Inhale, stretch through the left side and lean to the right, breathe out. You can look over your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, come back to center. We're opening to Vira Padrasana 2. Back heel is on the floor, right knee bends. Deep breath in, relax the shoulders down. And then flip your right palm. We're reversing. Right leg straight. The right arm reaches all the way up and back. And then we're moving through vinyasa. Hands to frame your right foot. Maybe your right leg stays lifted through vinyasa if that's available to you. Maybe you bring it to the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Your left leg reaches up into the sky when you're ready. Move your ankle. Bend your knee, open up your hip, reach the knee high to the sky when you're ready. And then exhale, straighten your leg, square your hips, pull the knee to your nose, one. Inhale, reach your back, knee to your nose, two. Last one, inhale back, knee to your nose, three. With control, step your foot between your hands. You can use your hands to help you pull the leg forward if you need. That heel stays up. Push the heel back, pull in through the belly, reach up. Keep that back leg really strong. Enter we stand here, we're uh, left hand to your right wrist, sink low. Inhale, stretch through that right side and lean towards the left here. Keep your balance, look over your right shoulder, take a deep breath in and out. And then come back to center, warrior two, back heel comes down on the floor and you open the arms wide. Take a full inhale, sit a little deeper, breathe out, and relax your shoulders. Flip your palm, left leg straight. Inhale, reach up and all the way back. And on your exhale, moving through vinyasa. Again, maybe your left leg stays lifted through your flow. Maybe you bring it down. Everything is an option. Inhale, very good. And exhale, downward facing down. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Now look forward to your hands. Let's take just about three bunny hops. Look to your hands, or in front of your hands rather, around your back and keep your butt lifted high. We're going to take just three hops getting into your hands. Three. You're trying to lift your feet up and back into the same place three times, and then the last one we're going to hop all the way forward. Make sure you look forward, don't look at your feet. For three, for two, and one. Feet all the way forward to the top of your mat. Good, halfway lift, inhale, and fold forward, exhale. Bring your big toes to touch, bend your knees, inhale, Utkatasana chair pose, one breath, and we're standing up, exhale. Let's go again. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward and all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthening your spine. Moving through your vinyasa, leaning forward into your hands as you walk or hop your feet back, Chaturanga Tadasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg reaches back, take a deep breath in. Let's go across this time, right knee to your left armpit. Exhale. Good. 
Inhale, reach it back. Right knee to your right armpit. Exhale. Pause. Inhale, reach it back. Knee to the center. And step your leg between your hands. We're coming up to lunge once again. Inhale, reach up. This time we're going to interlace your hands behind your head. Elbows go back. Your thumbs are at the base of your skull, lengthening the spine, lengthening the neck. Take a deep breath in. And exhale back to center. Once again to your warrior two. This time straightening your right leg and we're going to reach forward for Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Right hand down to the floor or to, towards the ankle. The left arm up into the sky. Inhale, exhale. Rotating from your upper body. So instead of reaching with your left hand back, your hand is straight up and then your left shoulder opens. Bring your left palm to the back of your head. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in here. Expanding opposite directions and breathe out. Coming up into your warrior two. Let's reverse warrior two. Top of your left hand to your low back. Right arm reaches up and all the way back. And on your exhale, we're twisting. Hands come down to frame your right foot. Left heel lift. Lengthen your spine and reach your right arm up into the sky. Pause here for three. Pull your right hip back, but keep your right knee over your ankle. Two. On one, look down, lean into your left hand. And either step your right foot halfway down. Maybe you stack your feet. Maybe you lift your right foot up off the floor. If you have any wrist issues, bring your left forearm down. Breathing here for two. And for one high plank. Maybe once again you keep your right leg lifted if you like through vinyasa. Inhale. Very nice. And exhale. Good. Left leg reaches back. And let's go with the left knee across to your right arm. Inhale, reach it back. Knee to your left armpit. And last one. Inhale, reach it back. Knee to center. Step it through. Coming up into your lunge. Really strong legs. Inhale, one breath up. Controlled, no rush. Interlace the hands behind your head. Elbows back, heart opens here. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, opening up to your warrior two, back heel on the floor. Straightening your left leg for three konasana. Reach all the way forward, and then left hand towards the ankle, right arm reaches up into the sky. Good, a couple breaths here. And then when you're ready, right palm to the back of your head. You're using it to lengthen the spine. Breathing for two. Use the right elbow to lean a little bit more back. Stretch to the right side. And one. Inhale, warrior two coming up and reversing. Top of your right hand to your low back or palm to your thigh. Inhale, reach all the way back. And frame your left foot when you're ready. Square your hips, lengthen the spine. Breathe in and breathe out, twist. Left arm reaches up into the sky. Very nice, guys. Check out your left knee. Make sure your knee is over your ankle and your left hip is pulling back. Very good. One more full breath in and out. And then you look down. And this time you lean into your right hand and start to step your left foot either halfway down or maybe all the way back. Again, if you need to bring your right forearm down to the floor, left leg lifts for three, for two, and one. Look down, both hands on the floor. Maybe left leg stays lifted through vinyasa. Maybe you bring it down. Take a deep breath in and exhale, full breath out. Now let's sigh out. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth. From here, look forward to your hands and try to control your hop forward feet to your hands all the way to the top. Very nice. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthening your spine and fold all the way down. Exhale, breathe out. Feet touch, your big toes are together. Bend your knees. Inhale, coming to Utkatasana for one breath and stand up. 
exhale. All right, I'm going through some transitions here. Bend your knees, come into your Utkatasana once again. And this time, hands to your heart for your um, twist. So sit a little deeper. Your left elbow will go outside of your right thigh and you're twisting. Make sure your butt is lower than your chest. You're not working from here, but you're really using your legs. Deep breath in, look over your right shoulder. Exhale. Really keep squeezing your left elbow and your right knee together. Look down and start to lift your left foot up off the floor. Send it all the way, all the way back. And when you're ready, step it back for a twisted lunge. Keep pushing your right elbow, uh, left elbow into your right knee, right knee into your left elbow. And maybe look up. Keep lifting your belly and ribcage off of your thigh. Finish your next exhale. We're going to circle up into warrior two. Left arm reaches up and around. Very nice. We'll give that right leg a break as you straighten your leg and point your right toes in. So we are now in a wide-legged stance facing the left edge of the mat. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale. Lift your chest up. Take a nice deep breath in here. And exhale. Fold forward. Bring your hands down to the floor. Halfway lift. Send your hips forward. And exhale. Walk your hands through. Pull your chin and your chest through here. For three, for two, and for one. Halfway lift on your inhale. We're going to go into our hips here. So turn your toes out to the sides now. And bring your feet a little bit wider. Bend into your right knee. Keep your hips small but your chest higher than your hips. And keep your right heel on the floor. So you're not here in your ankle, but your heel is on the floor. So the hips don't have to go too low. And then try to do that on the other side. So push the floor away. That's the importance of the foot to be on the floor. So you really have that strain your whole body to the other side. Again, it's not about how deep your hips go, but you really want to be able to keep that heel on the floor. And do that a couple times side to side. You don't have to move fast. Move with your own breath. Finishing and exhale as you kind of sink a little deeper. Use the inhale to transition. And if you feel like you need a little more time on one or the other side, maybe you stay there through a couple cycles of breath. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. Finish on the left side. And then when you're ready, straighten your legs. We're going to add Gomukhasana here before we come out. So you're going to walk your hands now to the opposite long edge of your mat. Your legs are now crossed. And then you're bringing your knees down to the floor, feet wide. Gomukhasana. So I'm going to turn forward so you can see it. Your knees are stacking. Your feet are wide. Your thighs are together. So Gomukhasana. Hands are by your sides. Inhale, a nice tall spine. Good. And then if you'd like to add arms here, you can take your right arm, so same leg that is on top, the same arm goes up, and you can either bring your left palm to your right elbow, or maybe you're binding all the way behind you. If you are binding, just make sure that you know, your hips are not lifting off the floor and then, you know, you're not kind of compensating by rounding your back. This is meant to open up your chest and really lengthen through that right side. Now you can turn your head towards the right if you have the arm up. That will also allow for a little bit more opening through that right side. Good. Let's take three more breaths here. You can bow forward as well. You can keep the bind in your hands or you can release the bind. Breathing for two, and one. Now on our inhale, we lift, bring your hands forward, lean into your right foot, and step your left foot halfway up for pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift, pull your right hip back, and exhale, fold forward here. For three, breathing for two, 
and one. A couple more things before we let go of that right leg. Halfway lift, lean forward, walk your hands forward, and lift your left leg up off the floor. So we're now in a variation of warrior three. We're going to twist here. Right palm comes to your low back, left hand stays under the shoulder. Blocks are really helpful just to help to come into a more correct alignment. Left foot flex. Exhale, twist your right shoulder up, but keep your left hip up. One more full breath in here. Really extend through the left heel, breathe out. And then bring your hands both down to the floor. We're gonna transition to down up. Look forward, lean into your hands. Take your left leg high, really, really high. Keep looking forward and hop your right foot back. Catch yourself, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale and exhale. Very nice. Bring your knees down to the floor. Just for three breaths, let's take child's pose. Inhale, exhale. Two. And one, downward facing dog. Look in front of your hands. Again, walk or hop your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, and we fold right away into our chair pose. Big toes are touching, knees together. Inhale, Utkatasana. Inhale, really lengthening through the upper body, hands to the heart, sit. Now again, keep your hips lower than your shoulders. So before you even twist, you want to get into this low seat and then you're twisting yourself. Just a couple breaths here to get into a deeper twist. You can look over your left shoulder to support the twist to go a little bit deeper. Stay like that in your upper body, look down as you exhale. Keep squeezing your right elbow and your left knee together. That's your foundation. Right foot starts to lift. Slowly, slowly, slowly start to extend it back and then lean back. Take up a lot of space with your feet, more than you think you need. So the weight is not all in that left quad. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, push your left knee out to the left, rotate your right rib cage up towards the sky. Finish your breath. Inhale, come all the way up, warrior two, and breathe out. Again, we're gonna give that left leg a break here. Straighten your leg and turn your toes in. Bring your hands to your hips. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn forward so you see me, you see my friends. And then inhale, extend the arms out. Interlace your hands behind you. As you interlace your hands behind you, try to bring the heels of your hands to touch so your palms are actually together. Draw the shoulders back, inhale, and exhale, fold. Just about three breaths here, getting into your shoulders, chin in for three. For two, and one, bend your knees, look forward and up, and come up, exhale, very nice. Take your arms out to the sides, inhale, and bring your hands to your hips, exhale. Now we're going for our last forward fold here, so a couple options. You can fold hands to your ankles, fingers to your big toes to pull. You can walk your hands through. You can take tripod headstand. I will give a quick um, kind of way to get into it. So you can go from wide-legged stance if your hamstrings allow you today. And you can bring your crown of the head down. Right? Hands are away from your face. If the hamstrings are not there today, you can come down, bring your crown down, hands by your sides, and then start to bring your legs wide. Again, triangle between your hands and your head. From here, as you walk your feet in, you can start to bring your knees one at a time to the upper arms. Now, really notice the hips, right? So you're not from the low butt, because that's kind of really hard to get to, but you're really trying to extend it up through your seat. From there, maybe you get comfortable knees in. Maybe you go all the way up. Whatever you choose to do, take a couple of breaths. Good. For three. Breathing for two. 
and breathing for one. All right, now we're going to go for a Gomukhasana. We are not facing the left side of your mat. So I'm gonna turn around because I was right here. And then walk the hands to the left edge. And now you're stacking your knees once again. This time your left knee is on top. Full inhale, exhale. Make sure your heels are out of the way so your left seat is on the floor. Breathe in and out. When you're ready to add the arms, same leg that is on top, that arm reaches up. And then you're binding either right hand to your elbow or right arm underneath. Good. Keep lengthening through that left side. You can turn your head over towards the left so you give yourself a little bit more kind of opening here. More length, more stretch. In about three more breaths, you can keep the arms and bow forward, or you can release the arms and bow forward. Three, two, and one. Inhale, gently lift yourself up, and we're finishing this sequence. Hands come to the front. You're leaning into your left foot and sliding your right foot just a little bit in so that the legs are not wide. Inhale, lengthening the spine, pull your left hip back and fold forward for just about three breaths here. Two, make sure both heels are on the floor and both legs are straight. On your next inhale, lift up, walk your hands forward, lean into your left leg, relax on your hands, right foot lifts halfway up, left palm to your low back, lengthen, Inhale, keep your right hip up and left shoulder up. Breathe here for three. Breathing for two. Good. And breathing for one. Now again, we're gonna look down, bring your hands to the floor. Right leg reaches up, look in front of your fingers, lean into your hands, hop your left foot back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Good, just a fun little transition, inhale. Look up and exhale, come back and breathe out. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Look to your hands, walk or hop your feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in and fold forward, breathe out. Bend your knees, Utkatasana. Breathing here for five, sit a little deeper. Breathing four. Three, sit even lower, two, and then come all the way down to Navasana. Extend your legs forward, pull the belly in. You want to round here into your back. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, hug your knees to your shoulders, cross your ankles, pull in. Maybe bring your hands by your sides and see if you can lift your butt off the floor by rounding your back. And then exhale, second round. Five, four, three. Again, try to round here in your shoulders and your low back so you're less of this and more of really deep core. Exhale, hug. Again, knees up, cross your ankles, point your toes out. Again, push the floor away from you. See if you can lift your tush up. Maybe one foot, maybe both lift as well. Exhale. Third round. Five, four, three, two, one. Again, hug, cross, press. Again, try to lift, deep breath in, and exhale. Good. Bring your feet down on the floor, reach forward, your feet are planted. And I'm going to take a couple of breaths, just leaning forward into your feet. Lean forward and back a couple times, leaning into your feet. Imagine like you're trying to touch the front of the room here. And on your next one, see if you can lean all the way into your feet and come into your chair pose. Deep breath in, and exhale, hands by your sides. Very nice. All right, let's soften your knees and bring your left leg over your right for Gomukhasana. Left arm goes under, 
Either the backs of your hands touch, maybe the palms. Left toes can be on the floor, they can be lifted or bind around. Breathing here for three. You can round in, bring the elbows to your knees if you like. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. We're going to reach your left knee up into the chest. And as you exhale, we're going to transition into a half moon. The right hand comes down. Left arm either reaches up into the sky or comes to your hip. Breathe here for three. Lengthening up the shoulders. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Bring your left hand down to the floor and bring the left foot down to the floor. Breathe out, fold. On your next inhale, let's rise all the way up. And same on the other side. So your right arm under and your right leg over. Nice deep breath in and out. Now three more breaths here. Pulling the belly in. Again, maybe rounding into yourself here. Wherever you are for three, two, and one, slowly start to make your way up, knee up. And when you're ready, opening up in for your half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale, exhale, three. Breathing, two. And one, right hand down to the floor, square your hips and bring your right foot down. Halfway lift, inhale, and Fold. Bring your feet wide, coming into your Malasana, toes out and heels in. Bring your hands to your heart. Good. And then from here, send your right forearm in front of your right shin. Left arm reaches up into the sky, taking a nice breath in. A couple options from here. You can take your left hand behind your back and your right hand either in front of your shin or behind your thigh. And maybe your hands bind, so it would look like this, <clears throat> and your right hand would grab your left, or maybe there is a towel between. And then you can stay, a couple more breaths here, or you can extend your legs, pushing your right hamstring back, looking over your left shoulder, you can stay or you can move into your bird of paradise. Remember, all of these are options, so you choose where you like to be. If you're going for bird of paradise, your right arm is really pushing into your right thigh. And then when you're ready, making your way down. Deep breath in and out. And then we're changing sides. Left forearm in front of your left thigh. Inhale, exhale. Good. Right arm reaches up. And then you can keep it lifted, you can go behind your back, half a bind, maybe full bind. Maybe straightening your legs, really getting into that left hamstring. And then when you're ready, let's bring the hands to the heart, deep breath in. And exhale, bring the hands down, straighten your legs. And heel to your feet together. Nice full breath in as you lengthen the spine, look forward, and make your way back through vinyasa into your child's pose. Take a nice deep inhale and a full exhale. Come up to your tabletop position. Bring your knees a little wider than hip width. The left hand to the center, right arm reaches up into the sky. Deep breath in and thread your arm under, right shoulder on the floor, right side of your head on the floor. Take a deep breath in, lengthening the spine, lengthening the whole right side, and exhale, twisting. Breathing two. And breathing one. Push the floor away. Inhale, come up. Breathe into your back. And a 
exhale, same on the other side, right knee out to center, left arm reaches up. And as you exhale, thread it under. Hold breath in and out. Two. And one, push the floor away from you, tabletop position, breathe into your back. And exhale. From here, let's come to your downward facing dog. Right leg reaches up into the sky. Bend the knee, open up your hip. And then look forward. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. Keep your leg up, look forward, and then shift your weight into your left arm, coming into your flip dog variation. Take a deep breath in. Maybe your right arm reaches forward. And as you exhale, dip your hips, bend your elbow, and come back into your lizard lunge this time, stepping your right foot outside of your right hand. Let your left knee gently come down to the floor. Inhale, lengthening your spine, lengthening through the belly, chin forward. And then maybe walking your hands forward and down. If you're bringing your forearms down, just make sure that your hips don't start to do this. Maybe you're using a block. Relax your jaw. And breathe here. Try to keep your right big to mound on the floor just for a couple moments. Right. And then when you're ready, gently start to Make your way up onto your hands and walking your right foot all the way across for a half pigeon. Right foot all the way towards the left wrist. And bring your right knee down to the floor. Good. Your right knee is wider than your right hip. So essentially you're trying to parallel your right shin to the front of your mat. So a really wide angle if possible. Inhale, lengthening your spine here. Keep your left thigh forward, and then exhale, again, gently bowing forward. Softening your shoulders. If you feel like your right hip keeps pulling you back, bring your block under your right hip. And if this is not working today due to like any hip or knee, Issue, you can always come down to your back for a number four stretch, bringing your right ankle over your left knee, and then maybe interlacing your hands behind the thigh or just gently diving in. Let's take five more breaths here. Relax your eyes, relax your jaw. Relax the back of your throat. I say it in every class that your jaw and your hips are connected. So let go of clenching your teeth. Let go of uh, the tongue being pressed up to the roof of your mouth. So just relax your throat, your jaw, your mouth area. And together, let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And then open mouth, side up. Let's slowly start to make our way up. You may bring yourself back into downward facing dog, or maybe into child's pose if that feels nice. If you'd like to move through vinyasa, take your flow. And exhale. All right, let's go for the other side. Left leg reaches up into the sky, bend the knee. Open up your hip here. And keep the leg high, look forward. Shift your shoulders forward, but keep your leg high. Once you stack your shoulders, go ahead and flip the dog. Left arm can reach up or forward. Nice deep inhale. And then when you're ready, hips dip, your left elbow dips. Inhale, spring yourself up. 
and come into your lizard on the left side. Again, your right knee gently makes its way down to the floor. As you bring it down, find a little bit more softness through the right, uh, through the right hip, through the right leg. Inhale, lengthening the spine. And exhale, slowly walking your hands forward. Again, if you choose to come down, make sure that it's not just to dump the weight down, but you're moving to deepen the pose. Relax your jaw, your eyes. Plug your left big toe mound into the floor here. Take one more full breath in in your lizard. Finish your exhale, start to make your way up into your hands and walking your left foot all the way across to your right wrist. Left knee comes down and again, mind that it's wider than your hips, so it's not pointing forward, but it's pointing slightly to the left. Very good. You're trying to bring that left foot up as much as it's available to you. Back toes on top, inhale, lengthen your spine. Again, avoid sinking into your left hip. Keep your hips squared, and if you need to slide a block under your thigh or come down onto your back into your number four stretch. Relax your eyes, relax your jaw, and relax your shoulders. Allow your breath to be natural and nice and expansive. Make sure that the breath is not uh, holding anywhere, that it's not stagnant, and it's not shallow. So you really want to breathe nice and deep into the body. Remember about the jaw, so relax the jaw, relax your tongue. Three more active, aware breaths. Finish your exhale. Gently make your way up, again coming into your downward facing dog, maybe your child's pose, and making your way through the last vinyasa if you choose. Inhale and exhale. We're making our way down onto our backs, so you can cross the ankles at your hands and make your way back. If you have a block, take it with you. And now let's go into one back bend. You can take it as gentle or as kind of advanced as you like. So one variation, you can go for a supported back bend with a block under your low back arms wide. You can squeeze the shoulder blades deeper, interlace the hands under your low back for a half bridge. Keep your knees hip width, so don't let the quads take over and your knees go out. Keep your knees hip width. If you want to go deeper into your wheel pose, bring your hands by your ears. And maybe you're just bringing the crown of your head on the floor if you're training into it. And, or maybe you're left up. Whatever variation you choose, we're going up for eight breaths. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, coming all the way down to the floor gently. 
and very gently hugging your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side and bring your knees all the way to the left. Left hand to your right knee for a twist, right arm out to the right and look over your right shoulder for three, two, and one. Gently bring your knees through the center to the opposite side. Try to keep your knees in line with your hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Two. And one, come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. And let's come up into a seated forward fold. So you can rock yourself up and down on your back a couple times. If that doesn't feel right, you can just roll to the right and come up. Extend your legs forward, straight, inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold. Breathing here for three. And try to relax your shoulders. You can soften your knees here to allow for your low back to be straight. So there's less force and there's more just kind of allowing your body to open up naturally. Two. And one. Inhale, gently lift. We're going to do a little side stretch here. So bring your right foot in. Bring your left leg wide. So there's a wide angle here. And then you're bringing your left hand to your right knee across. Right arm reaches up into the sky. And then you're leaning towards the left side. But don't worry where you're reaching to. You really want to turn your torso, kind of rotate yourself, and then reach from there. Essentially, your left shoulder is reaching towards the floor inside of your left thigh. Breathing for two, breathing into that right rib cage, flexing your left foot. One more breath in. And breathe out, come back to center, and let's just simply switch sides. Again, legs are wide. Right hand to your left knee. Inhale, length and extend. Left arm reaches up. So first we're working on the length. Then we're twisting. And then we're leaning for three. For two. And for one. Inhale, coming back to center. Alright, and then let's release our legs forward and coming all the way down onto our backs. Lift your legs up. Take a moment here and just allow the blood flow to circulate down. If you like to move into your shoulder stand or head stand, go ahead. Take about 10 breaths. gently start to make your way all the way down into your final rest. Your legs go wide, your arms go wide. And gently shift your head side to side just to kind of loosen up the neck, release any tension in the neck. And your palms are facing upwards, toes are spraying wide. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Let's 
So as you release the body heavy into the support underneath, letting go of any effort, letting go of any remaining tension. Allowing your eyes to become heavy, the muscles of your face relax. Acknowledge yourself for all the efforts that you've put into your practice this morning. The main biggest effort is always just to show up, just to be here. Acknowledge yourself for that. And allow yourself five to eight minutes of just deep rest, allowing all the distractions internal or external to fall, to disappear into the background. And then stay here on your own for about five minutes. I'm going to leave you guys here. Thank you so much for joining. I'll be back tonight for 6 p.m. Slow flow and sound bath. Namaste.